Hey guys, so happy Sunday. We're doing something different right now. I know you know me as a person who loves trading the stock market. That's why we have stocks by request. But here's what's so interesting. We are living in interesting times and in that there are a lot of people who have been requesting stock charts or at least technical analysis via crypto, uh, via and analyzing cryptocurrencies. And I've noticed this also over the past few weeks that there's a lot of people that have been shifting and are very, very excited uh, to look at and to analyze the crypto markets. And please do note that I'm not really an expert in in the cryptocurrency space. I've been a long-time investor in the Philippine stock market, and then I've been invested in the U.S. markets for over seven, maybe seven plus years now. But in the cryptocurrency space, uh, this is something that I know I if you've watched my older videos, I know I've told you that I started getting positions in 2018. But in terms of being intentional about it, it's just been over the past few months lang talaga na the more that I've been spending time with people that are really deep into the cryptocurrency space, the more I'm I'm getting hooked. And I'm just like all of you right now. I'm learning as I go. I'm learning. There's so much to learn about it uh, from just DeFi alone. DeFi smart contracts are so, are, it's so amazing. The way I think it would uh, give a lot of opportunities for a lot of people and how it will disrupt the banking and the financial industry is just uh, mind blowing and I'm, I'm learning as I go. But what's interesting about technical analysis, in my opinion, is that that the skills that I've developed through the years analyzing charts, use uh, analyzing stocks, using charts, using technical analysis, I could somehow superimpose it also and use it in the cryptocurrency market. So it's just that the difference now sa cryptocurrencies no na ko mas mabilis siya. Uh, in terms of movement and kung sa stocks, I, I barely look at the 15-minute charts. I barely look at the one-hour charts. But sa cryptocurrency, so, sa sobrang bilis, sa sobrang volatile, uh, it's very, very important that I get to look at those other candlesticks as well. So uh, for this video, it will just primarily be me, me analyzing pairs uh, between different cryptocurrencies. It's just mainly that. So I'll, I'm going to make other videos pa regarding... Um, regarding the other things that I've been uh, studying right now for cryptocurrency. So before I go in also with the charts, I've been spending three to four hours a day just to learn more on this. And I guess the advantage no, of being on lockdown is you have a lot of time to learn. And that's what I've been also doing. And I do hope that Kayuren um, use this free time so that you get to learn more. So as you all know, para pareho lang in charts, technical analysis is market psychology plotted into charts. It's us analyzing people's sentiment in terms of uh, how they would perceive it. More buyers bring the prices up, more sellers bring the prices down. So before I also begin, please do remember that I'm not your financial advisor. It's your money. It's your responsibility. Please take the time to do your own diligence over your investments because no one will work harder that for that for you no one will work harder for your money than you never ever buy a crypto a token a stock just because you hear it off my channel or just because you hear it off another youtube channel or from your friend please take the time to research and do your own diligence this video is for me just to share my passion my ideologies and give you information that Hopefully, it gives you value and points you towards the right direction. But ultimately, please talk to your financial advisor. Spend the time that you get to do a deep dive to learn more about what you're investing on. So I want to start everything off with Bitcoin. Uh, primarily, it's still uh, one of the largest cryptocurrencies. Uh, I think it's still digital gold. Uh, the fact that it's digital gold, that there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of institutions, a lot of corporations want to position more into it. And in all of the cryptocurrencies that's out there, it's the most stable one. And that's the reason why I'm double downing on it and sharing this to you first. So it's very, very evident right here you know, that it's starting to consolidate. You can see the, the consolidation area right here. But if you zoom out, pretty much it's still in its massive, massive long-term uptrend and even if you look at this moving average 99 day moving average it's still very 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 far uh from still very very far from uh from the current price as well so if i zoom in though 
uh, we're seeing the consolidation start somewhere around March 2021. So we hit, we have a side, we have from the breakout that happened around the first week of March, uh, which we saw it go above the 50,000 level, that in my opinion sh should be, or at least from the data that we have right now, is the current support level that we have. And we've touched that um, the, at the end of March, or at the end of March, somewhere around March 26, we hit that level and then we started to bounce. The current resistance right now is at um, 60, is at the 61, 61,844 level, which we are quite near already. So a couple of things in the same way that you would watch me analyze um, stocks in the market, please remember that at the resistance, uh, there will be significant selling. So should it fail to break past that, then we could just possibly see it retrace back here as a 51,000 level. You have, and by the way, no, yun nagbago, um, if I would at least tweak it, um, at least for for cryptos, I'm using shorter moving averages, uh, seven twenty five ninety nine. Um, it's almost the same lang naman dun sa stock na technical analysis na gamit ko. Twenty five you could correlate that to the twenty day moving average. Ninety nine you could correlate that also to the um, hundred day moving average that I would normally use. So walari naman masalang significant change and walari naman uh, walari naman drastic change in analysis. It's just that because this moves faster. Um, it's easier to look at it from that particular point of view. So um, in my opinion, since the start of March right here, at least for the past six, seven weeks, we've seen it consolidate from 5,100, 51,000 US dollars to around, um, to around 61,000 US dollars. So that's the current range, current progression that, that we're seeing for the BTC. So please remember, sobrang dami cryptocurrencies. I don't watch all of the cryptocurrencies that's available. Um, I, I personally don't. What I normally do is uh, I just have a watch list. Tapos dun sa watch list na yun, yun lang yung binabantayan ko. And so a lot of people are saying, how do you how do you screen all of those currencies or all of those tokens? I don't. Meron lang konti na yun yung binabantayan ko. Pag tumama siya sa level na gusto kong bantayan, then that's when I start doing something. If you want to do uh, if you want to start trading them. So, ganun lang, over and over and over and over and over. So, yun. Um, next is, I want to talk about Ethereum. Um, maybe I want to do this based on uh, maybe the largest cryptocurrencies or the one that, that have the largest market caps, and then we we can continue to go from there. Um, what's interesting about Ethereum was um, the past days, everyone got excited because we finally saw Ethereum break out above the 2,000 mark. So, Kung lalagyan ko siya ng linya dito, uh, let me just fix this for you so we see it better. Ayan, kung lalagyan ko siya ng linya, this was the breakout around, um, para sa akin sa 2000, somewhere around here. So I'm lining it there. Yan yung breakout sa 2000 level. And then you have a support sana here at around the 1400. Um, you, have, you have a support here at the 1400 mark. Somewhere around this level. So, yeah. So that being said, um, everyone got so excited about it. Uy, no, wala. Everyone got so excited because it started to break out and move past the and move past the 2000, 2000 US dollar mark. So a lot of people are just watching and looking at it that it should should this hold, we could possibly see it move higher. Please remember, um, same analysis when you are looking at Philippine stocks, US stocks, and cryptocurrencies, you can use the channel um, support and resistance the distance behind that so this particular distance as your area for you to be able to look at the breakout so what do i mean about that look at this distance you could roughly say that 2000 to 14 you have a 600 uh, us dollar distance between that so that being said um if 2000 continues and solidifies itself as a level of support for ethereum i think the possible narrative for it to go as at least a target price or at least an area for it to test over the next uh over a specific duration will be 600 also meaning 2600 as an area that you may uh you may look at on where ethereum could possibly go that's all predicated though on eth versus the usdt staying above the 2000 mark so which up until now no it has uh in my opinion been doing um, I just want to add lang that if you're going to put it 
if you're just gonna try to add the short-term resistance right here, um, ayo gumalo. And you have a short-term resistance, which this is, uh, this has been, I guess, since the start of April. Short-term resistance for Ethereum right now is at the 2,143 mark as well. Um, you have the 99, 25, and seven-day moving average, um, relatively bullish right now. And this was its its push. No, what's interesting? It started December. Ethereum was just 500. And what was interesting about that was I was interviewing Sila Jane Nemesis at that time. Jane Nemesis, popular investor from Etoro. Then you also have uh, who's this? Uh, Heloise Grief, Ruby Massa. For those na nanunod uh, that are using Etoro also. Um, we were discussing this, and at that time in December, Bitcoin was already flying. As Bitcoin was already flying, Ethereum was uh, somehow late into the game. And I said, dapat yung Ethereum, please look at this chart. No, Somewhere around December, it was just 500, 600 lang. If you even look at somewhere around August, it was only 200. So, uh, ang laki nung inakit ng Ethereum from, from where it was, from 200. Uh, from the 200 mark last August, it has gone up already 10x. So, opportunity for those who for those who were able to position at that time, congratulations to all of you. But for those who are just watching us right now, of course, wala na tayong, hindi mo na mababalik yung nakaraan. Uh, all we have to do right now is just follow what your uh, what your plan is. So, that's where we are for ETH. Um, key level of support to watch out for is 2000. Uh, if the 2000 level holds, I really believe using this channel pattern, uh, we could possibly see it move um, up until 2600, at least for the short to midterm. So again, um, please watch out for 2000. If 2000 does not hold, then we may see some corrective patterns happen for Ethereum. Next is, let's look at XRP. Uh, XRP was so exciting, super. Um, if there's two coins tokens that i i'm super excited i was super excited about the past weeks or the past days Shepard tko was also exciting sa mga naka nagbantay ng tko um it was super fun pero syempre tko is new which is expected for for coins that are relatively new in the space to have some pushes pero uh for what's this for for bnb and expert XR, xrp which are medyo matagal na ad <laughs> It was so interesting. It's Obram Bilis. Um, BNB was so, so interesting. Um, it, it It's unbelievable. Yung pag -akit niya, something that when I was starting to look at it, I never expected it to uh, go up this much. And the, the fact that um, we've seen it, parang at the back of your heads, you will always think that, Hintayin ko muna mag-correct yan, hintayin ko na lang mag-retrace and then I start to buy then only to find out you'd see it go go higher. Anyways, let's look at let's look at XRP. Um, XRP, no, uh, for those who have been in the crypto space for quite some time, XRP was one of the large one of the ones that had large one of the largest market caps over uh, a, a certain period of time. Yung nagbago lang is I, guys, I need some water. Yung nagbago lang, I think, sa XRP, um, basically, is uh, it had some lawsuits, and that's what brought it massively lower. So if you'll see this uh, right here, uh, this large drop, the, the large drop that we we saw sa XRP no, uh, was pretty much because of the lawsuits that were attached to it. Uh, I think the highest was around the 3 to 4, uh, three to four mark. And... I, nung bumagsak siya before, sabi ko, ano, I'll, I'll, I'll take a risk on it. I'll take um, maximum uncertainty, maximum upside. So I took a position. Yung biggest regret ko lang was, if you see it here, very, very classic breakout from the 0 0.65 level, which happened um, which happened April 5, just a couple of days ago. Then right after that, boom, it started to break out already. So why am I saying this? Um, XRP right now is at... Uh, XRP right now is at 1.41. So looking at it now from a breakout perspective, it's still moving towards its breakout. I repeat, watching XRP right now, it's currently still moving uh, on its breakout. You have the 7.25 and 99-day moving averages still bearish. It built a bit of a base here also, somewhere around the 
one US dollar mark. And yun din ang isip ko sa, sabi ko, no, I, I hesitated pa nung start. So, this is above and beyond yung earlier positions ko, no? Pero, uh, nung nasa one siya, sabi ko, should I add already only to, only to add later on above one uh, when it started to push even higher? But this was an area where it consolidated, meaning in this area, there were people who waited for some time here that are selling, and there are people who were not able to pick it up here that started to to buy. So uh, the breakout that happened here was at the 1.1 level, uh, somewhere around that area. Then you had the support area at the 0 0.92. So if you would also use that, that's an 18. Uh, that's an eight, If you'd measure that 1.1 minus 0 0.92, that's around 0 0.18. So if you'd superimpose that uh, right now, 0 0.18 is somewhere around the 0.48 mark, which is similar to this white candle that uh, the wick that you have here. No. So if I'll just try to use a longer... Uh, moving average, uh, I'll, I'll use a shorter time frame. You see it right here that nagkaroon naman talaga ng resistance here around the 1.48 level, which if you will measure it from a support and resistance standpoint, if you will measure it from a, a level where dito ka nagdodraw ng, um, dito ka, nag, dito ka nagdodraw ng, what do you call this? Uh, dito ka nagdodraw, dito ka nagdodraw ng support and resistance, the breakout earlier from the, the, 1.1 level and then you measure the 0 0.92 support and resistance channel that gave it a breakout of of 0.18 which is where we are right now at the 1.48 level as a level of short-term resistance so uh, please remember this is the movement that we're seeing here is predicated on the good news that happened um nawala yung pag share ko sorry about that nagkamali ako ng pindot uh so please remember, this is pretty much predicated on um, on a glimmer of hope that the cases for XRP would would be somehow um, it's not as it's not as scary as what it was a couple of weeks back as um, some of the some of the petitions I think have been lowered. So uh, I I think. The biggest move that we will see for XRP over the next few months is um, how the result for the case will go. If the case gets better, gets dropped, then you could possibly expect a uh, better upward movement for XRP, given that yung pagbaba niya was pretty much because also of the lawsuit that was attached to it. So there. Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm dragging. No? Yung maganda lang sa... No? Um, yung maganda lang sa... sa so crypto market since it's so new and daming pwedeng ikwento daming pwedeng i-share sa um to e to everyone and nasa nakatatlo pa lang ako we're already in the 16 minute mark so probably I'll um probably put BNB then uh maybe Cardano then Polkadot and then let's call it a day then maybe sa next na lang um I'll I'll, I, I'll try to discuss I'll try to discuss more as well uh okay for BNB, this is at least its support and resistance. Now, as you can see right here, um, support and resistance is something that's universal. Yung skills na nagagamit natin sa tech, sa, sa stock market, you can use it also uh, as, as your set of skills also right here for the crypto market. I forgot to mention this. Um, we have a technical analysis course um, which is happening this May 2021. And what I'm going to do for the first time is I'm going to integrate uh, at least cryptocurrencies na rin, since I've been noticing that there's so many of you right now that are so interested about crypto, that are so interested about trading um, cryptocurrencies. And that's what I plan to do. Uh, aside from just talking about Philippine and U.S. stocks, dun sa, dun sa um, technical analysis course, I'm going to integrate cryptos na rin there. But for whatever reason, we're going to use almost the same principles, candlesticks, trend lines, support and resistance, moving averages, MACDs. Um, excuse me. ADX, ADO, volume-based oscillators uh, on top of on top of everything. So for those who are interested about it, I'll put it in the description below. It will be, uh, I think in the middle of May, it will be via Zoom. So wherever you are in the world, you get to learn about this. And I hope that this massively helps you wherever you are also. Because yun naman yung goal, eh. aside from the videos that we create here in YouTube, I just want to add more value for those who really want to do deep, deep dives on it and want to learn more about technicals. And above and beyond that, we have... 2,000 free videos already in YouTube at Marvin Germo. And then um, for those who want to read, 
uh, just check out my books. They're all available in Lazada and Shopee. Then yun. Okay. So for uh, BNB, um, as you can see here, no, ito yung nag-build siya ng base around the 200 uh, mark. And if you look at this very carefully, this was just at February. If you even zoom out, kung yung Ethereum, we've seen massive moves for Ethereum. Uh, tingnan nyo to. Uh, somewhere around December last year, um, the price of BNB was just barely at 30, 40. The movement that we saw right here from uh, from this just started January this year. So January all the way up to 200, 5x na siya. It happened in a span of just four weeks. Then it consolidated a bit. Support level was around 200. Resistance was around uh, 340. And what we're seeing right now is basically uh, BNB breaking out from the 340 support level. So for those who are watching this also, please write this down. The current, um, the current support for BNB is at the 340 level. I repeat, the current support right now that we have for BNB is at the 340 level. And then you have the 7-day, 25-day, and the 99-day moving average um, relatively bullish still not showing us any signs of reversal. So, um, I, kaya nga, laki nung, laki nung, uh, to everyone who positioned in BNB way back, nung sobrang mura pa niya, um, you guys are doing very well. You guys are doing very, very well. And and just to look at it, that it was just at 40, 50 US dollars just three months back. Um, habang umakit na ng malaki yung Bitcoin at that time, BNB was a bit of a laggard. If I'll zoom out, now you'll see this. It was a bit of a laggard for for a very, 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 very long time already. Um, while while Bitcoin was making its massive moves, um, BNB just really made its move. If you look at it right here, uh, somewhere around February, and and that's right now we're just seeing it massively uh, move up. So whatever upward push that we are seeing right now for BNB. Um, is predicated on the breakout from the 340 uh, resistance level. Um, it started to build a base also from the 200 US dollar uh, US dollar mark. So this is how it looks right now. Uh, this is its current uptrend. If you're gonna draw, um, I'm still trying to make myself familiar. I'm still trying to familiarize myself with with this charting software. No? So if you're gonna draw an upward trending line for BNB, uh, that's where it is right now. Uh, so. From, from the breakout that happened last February, we are seeing BNB uh, continually move in a steady uptrend. And we are also seeing um, all of the moving average, averages currently bullish. Should there be any corrections um, in BNB, which is, please remember, it's normal. No, you will, you will all, it will be part and parcel of it that you will all, you can always expect uh, markets to have uh, corrective movements, corrective waves. And if a correction could, would possibly happen here, a uh, possible landing spot so far right now would be here uh, close to the 320, 320, 340 level where the previous resistance for BNB was. Okay, next one. Um, I think it's BN kanina. Okay, ADA. Okay, so this is where ADA is. Not much action this week for ADA though. Um, it's very, very um, clear also that we are seeing ADA at least move sideways. Um, it already, nauna naman siya that it had its great move also. Um, ADA was sleeping also for quite some time. And as you can see it right here, um, November, wala pa siya masyadong ginawa. Yung pinaka, I think, large move niya was somewhere around here, uh, somewhere around February. So halos sabay-sabay din sila. Uh, when, when, what do you call this? Um, BNB made a large stride upward. Um, that's when we that's when we also saw ADA start to push up. So, Currently, right now, I think it's a world. It's a world of altcoins altogether. Um, it B, Bitcoin is nice, pero um, if you are the type of person that wants to take a bit of risk, if you're the type of person also that uh, wants to get a bit of uh, fluctuations there, uh, I, I think it's looking beyond Bitcoin already. You use you use USDT, you use BTC as your uh, something that gives you a bit of stability. But if you want a bit of action, um, it would be interesting to go. Um, the altcoin route also. But uh, just to answer at least where um, ADA is right now, uh, allow me to draw this. This is the current resistance at least for ADA and this is the current support. Um, this is the current support level for ADA right now. So 
Um, current support, in my opinion, for ADA is 1. Current resistance is 1.4, uh, 1.37 slash 1.4 level. So um, it's sideways. Uh, it started being it started being sideways since um, February 20, after the breakout from the 1 level. Fast forward to where we are right now. Uh, nearing the two-month mark after that particular breakout, it's currently consolidating. So, um, yun yun napansin ko also, no? may, may certain function siya na para din siyang stock market that hindi siya lahat umakit ng sabay-sabay. Uh, Bitcoin had its move last year, then Ethereum followed, then uh, we had ADA, BNB make a large move, then um, ADA consolidated, BNB consolidated, but started to break out even further. And then right now we're seeing XRP naman move in front of her very eye. So there's more. Uh, I'd like to talk about more. Uh, let's look at dot. Let's end this with dot na lang. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, this is where dot is, in my opinion. Um, dot also, na nag breakout siya. Uh, let me just put this para malino for you guys. Ayan, nag breakout siya ng 39.6 level. Um, so yung current consolidation range ng dot was meron siyang support at 28, meron siyang resistance at uh, somewhere around the 39 mark. Um, just a couple of days ago, uh, February, um, February, April 2, 2021, it started to break out from that level. And then this is now the current support at the 39, um, 39 US dollar mark. And if I'll add another layer um, of resistance, this is the current range in my opinion for dot. 39 support, 45 resistance, or 39 support, 46 uh, US dollars as a form of resistance. So, yun yung current consolidatory range niya. And madami pang pwedeng uh, pag-usapan dito, but I'll, I'll reserve that for another video. But um, if you guys want more crypto charts and more analysis from a technical analysis standpoint, um, just let me know in the comment section then. I'll try to make iterations na hindi lang puro stocks yung pag-usapan natin, but we're gonna do crypto charts as well. So yun, um, maybe for the next one, we could talk about Chainlink, we could talk about Dodge, we could talk about Dodge, Dogecoin, we could talk about uh, Pan, uh, we could talk about Cake, Sushi, Bake, uh, Uni, and so much more. But please do note, I'm also learning this as I go. Um, it's yun lama, I guess yung, if there's an advantage that I have in this is um, investments are always emotion-based also. If you master the emotional part, uh, it's easier to move from one asset class to another. If you master the asset asset allocation part, the risk tolerance part, and the risk management part, it's easy to move from one asset class to another. So I guess that's something that I got from uh, Philippine stocks and U.S. stocks that I get to superimpose into the cryptocurrency market. So that's it for now. By the way, for those who want to learn more about uh, what platforms you can use, in the description below, um, you can use Binance. Um, which allows you to trade other cryptocurrencies and also altcoins as well. And even for this example, majority of the examples that I'm using, I'm just using um, platforms brought about by Binance. Comment uh, link in the description below. And also for those who just want to trade the CFD version, and kung gusto niyo lang naman yung US dollar version uh, swap into either Bitcoin, XRP, ETH, Litecoin, uh, ADA, and and those iterations. You can also use eToro. It's so easy to open. And what's nice about eToro is it allows you to be able to trade from uh, cryptos to US stocks to commodities to indices and so much more. So, but all of that, everything you want to know about me is in the description below. Um, aside from that, I hope you guys got a lot from this. And I know I've I know a lot of you guys have been requesting more about crypto, and that's why we're doing videos like this. And I guess that's it for now. Um, Comment below if you guys have questions, and I'm going to try to make more videos about it. And I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. Marvin Germo, see you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.